Nation, the two that you are seeing on screen right now, that is Super Cat and the Sizzler Kalanji. The two were both present at the Redemption concert held in Trinidad and Tobago. Still, that to that, the intro. Nation, the entertainment feed community, where they are on the Monday Blazing Mondays, community members, enough love and blessings on the Monday morning. Yeah. Hope you all had a okay weekend, positive vibes, nothing too heavy on the meds and you are ready to take on the week. Still, we are once again with the ENT news, the topics, the updates. When you know the thing go, on to the topics. I, I the song that you hear right now, the visuals that you are seeing, it is the visuals for the song titled Things Don't Change by Rygin King and Damian Marley. It is the first time the two are collaborating on a project together. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see Rygin King and Damian Marley working on a track together. As a matter of fact, I would be just as much surprised seeing Damian Marley working with any other younger dancehall artist. And no, I am not saying that these dancehall artists are not worthy of working with the likes of Damian Marley. I just don't have 10 times see Damian Marley working with the younger dancehall artist them. That's to say if you have ever worked with a younger dancehall artist before. Not sure, but that is why I am a bit surprised. Once again though, the song is titled Things Don't Change by Damian Marley and Rygin King. Human nature is so amazing, every day she changes, never the same thing. Why not show the scene? Here's a little throwback of Damian Marley performing at the age of 15. Rock em up in Bumbo Clark. Robo got you that. So the other day was the Yard Stars gave an update stating MC Nuffy now able to fly again will be honored at Sting after a five year absence from the local entertainment scene. Popular Vibes Master MC Nuffy has resolved his visa issues and is ready to fly again. He is preparing for his first major event at Sting 2024 where he will be honored for his impact on the show and his role as a top MC. As a nation, MC Nuffy is already back in Jamaica. I'm in a room. I come here and give you number one. Me, Mumma, Rav, Rav. Get the knife up. Talking about MC Nuffy. According to L.A. Lewis, MC Nuffy recently sent him 10,000 US after sorting out his visa issues. People, right now, <laughs> people, oh, some man is going to tell me to stop work. Also. Oh, some man is going to tell me to stop work for the people. See that 10,000 and this stuff is going to give me people. And see that one of my Canadian members sent 20,000 Canadian and give me. People, big up MC Nuffy, right now, go back to the fish. You have to go call Nuffy for success. The boss got back wings. What do you man? All right, people. What do you MC Nuffy that far now? And some man upon yo. MC Nuffy can't fly. MC Nuffy gets stuck of foreign. People. MC Nuffy say, who the man Call the phone and say, Emperor, listen to me. The boy, the more kalanga, langa, 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 for me, you know, a long time over for Nuffy, you know, people, and then hold down sting to you know, people, and one bag of over there, for next snake I am, I go to sting people and I throw me up in the front of sting people and throw it up in the front of sting people. Incarcerated dancer artist Sika Rhymes. The other day we shared a recent photo from the entertainer and yes, as mentioned, the entertainer is incarcerated. He is specifically over in Sweden or somewhere over in the UK. Still after he shared that photo, a lot of people are in disbelief. Some were stating that that is not him. While some are say Sika Rhymes really look like him sick, him not look healthy. Well, in the photo, we saw pills on the decks, so maybe the entertainer is ill. Still, a day later, the entertainer shared these pictures. Don't know if him tell the people him that that was just a bad photo. Fresh like me day, fresh like me come from day. Yo, hear me now, hear Yo, hear me now. Yo, yo, Sean, me pan fit like a stitch for me. He later shared 
this picture with the caption stating home soon son hashtag javi so i guess later from this maybe a few weeks from now maybe a few months from now we'll be getting news of his release we're moving on christopher Tuftan took to social media where he shared this picture with the caption stating well this sunday wasn't planned took a fall this morning on my bicycle counting myself very lucky because it could have been worse thanks to god and to all who have been their prayers and sent messages also thanks to valiant who was involved for rushing me to university hospital of the west indies donation a few people after reading that post is stating that it seems as if valiant is the one who hit christopher tufton off his bicycle the minister did not stated that he got hit off his bicycle he stated that he took a fall but there are a few people not just a few a bunch of people a good amount of people stating that it seems as if a valiant hit the minister off his bike maybe it is a part of the post which states also thanks to valiant who was involved for rushing me to the hospital and just that alone it valiant this clip now uh, circulate on social media stating that skeng and this entourage they were involved in uh, a little altercation with valiant and his entourage <laughs> And just that alone with Skeng, don't know if I the same event, but this clip has started to circulate sometime after. <laughs> I don't know, maybe at the same event that Valiant attended, maybe Valiant was supposed to perform after Skeng and Skeng still have up the little tassel that went down earlier. So I'm just decide for, as the people put it, TV mic. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing we are going to look at in this report, Vibes Cartes lawyer Isaac Buchanan gives a shocking update on Vibes Cartes health. According to Mr. Buchanan, Vibes Cartel heart condition is getting worse. Says he's not worried, even though his bail was denied. This context matters. A lot of people that have opinions are don't. I, I no longer waste my time to have conversations with people. Think about what is in the Constitution and respect the Constitution. If we start the moral argument, some of you will be embarrassed. Shut up, sit down, and respect the Constitution. Finally, and your last update about his health was? My last update about his health from his doctor is that his heart is worse than the last time we spoke. She had, in a medical report, made it emphatically clear that this, the clock is ticking on his health and the Privy Council responded expeditiously and in, in the capacity Justice MacDonald Bishop in record time responded like the judge before us Justice Thomas should be commended for responding in a day that is justice in Jamaica I'm not worried the entertainment feed community that right for now you see what time a clock you see what time a knock where you get the f out of here and as usual, my people.